It's Ask the Judge time once again, and today Judge Courtney R. King joins us to answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, we didn't plan this. We're both in animal print today. You can look real closely. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> That's right. Let's jump right in. Here's a question from one of our viewers. I'm trying to add my husband to my company's health insurance plan. I have made multiple calls to double check that he will be covered for next year. But all I have been given is a verbal yes. Can I demand they send documentation proof? Well, Erica, like in any situation, you can always demand something. Whether or not there's a legal ob obligation to do so, I couldn't find anything. However, they do have to send you an insurance card because you're going to have to present that to a medical provider. So, um, also, almost everything now is done online. So, mm -hmm. I would suggest that you log into your account, see which dependents are covered, and then uh, request an insurance card for your spouse. It should be easy to check online. It should be. Second question, my parents are divorced and my dad has full custody over the kids. I am 16 years old and I want to live with my mom. Are there any laws that will prevent me from moving in with her? Can she get in trouble? Well, in this situation, when parents get in trouble is if they do something that's outside of the order and the other parent decides to enforce it. So if her father has full custody, she decides to go live with her mom without changing any of the orders, then her mother could be held in com contempt if the father decided to pursue it. So the best path would be to um, her mother to get a lawyer, file a motion to modify that prior order, and then at her age, she's typically going to be able to um, select who she wants to live with primarily unless it's not in the best interest of the child. Okay, really good answer. The last question, is your neighbor responsible to fix damage made during a storm? If their carport comes across the road and damage, damages your home, can you file a claim with their homeowner's <laughs> insurance? Yes, you can. You can oh, file okay. a, a third party claim with their insurance. You can also file a claim on your own insurance and then your insurance will have a right of subrogation against the other policy. So it's best probably to file both. Let the insurance companies duke it out and then you're in the clear. Okay, so, so there is a fix to this. There is a fix and I also want to point out that in three days is the deadline to file your proof of loss if you had flood insurance on Imelda. So, okay, good reminder. Um, yes, we have to get those filed or it's drop dead. Okay, yeah. well thank you so much and if you, you have any questions for our Ask the Judge segment just head over to 12newsnow.com slash ask the judge and fill out the form.